Greetings, everypony. My name is Arcanum Fantasy, and this is the first episode of dun, 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 Arcanum's Review. In these episodes, I'm going to be going over a few fanfics that I've read and either found rather pleasant or very, very, well, you get the picture. Now, these fics are aimed mostly at the MLP community, but there will also be other fictions from other genres, such as, or universes, such as Ruby or Pokemon, and maybe even reviews on things such as creepypastas. Now, to those listening... I shall be presenting a few rules in regards to how these reviews are going to work. I will only do reviews on completed fanfics, so anything that is labeled as on hiatus or incomplete on film fiction or any other website will not be reviewed, at least not until they are completed. Also, I do not intend to really go after a lot of really well-known fanfics, such as Cupcakes or Rainbow Factory, because, well, let's face it, everyone has reviewed those things to death. I will also not be doing any kind of clop fiction reviews, but with all, although I may make exceptions to this rule depending entirely on the storyline meaning that if it's an actual story, then I will most likely do a review on it. But if it's just straight mindless sex, well, then no. Just, just, no. Especially if there's any kind of bizarre fetishes involved. Now, are we all clear on the rules and how these episodes are going to work? Yes? Good. Now I'll begin my review on the fanfic known as Heart of Stone, written by Crimson DM. Now, as we all know, within fanfictions, there are several types of genres. Within MLP, there is, in addition to the, to the typical genres, such as comedy, slice of life, action, adventure, romance, and so on. We have also Equestria Girl, second for second person, and uh, crossover. Now, oh yeah, an alternate universe, though I suppose some sites include this in other fix. Yeah, whichever. Anyway... <clears throat> This fanfic is one mostly aimed into the dark genre, as well as as well as romance and gore. Though, to be honest, the gore is relatively light, as in it leaves mostly to the imagination. So, unless you have an extremely gory imagination, you are not likely to really be traumatized by this. Now, the story also contains a feature that I found to be something of a near impossibility. Someone who had managed to adequately and accurately ship Mod Pie with another character. Now, obviously there are countless numbers of ship fix within the romance genre of the My Little Pony franchise as well as, again, a variety of other popular franchises. But one character that is extremely difficult, that I actually thought was almost impossible to ship, was Mod Pie. After all, we've seen that with the exception of Pinkie Pie, that the main six members are very non-compatible with with mod so leaving so providing shipping material between her and them is 
next to impossible. In this one, however, they managed to ship her with Trixie. Again, a feat that I thought was rather difficult, if not straight, impossible. But they did this with great care, love, and grace. Oh, and, I'd, and I'd have to say, the prospect of having Trixie have mental disabilities, as well as suffering from a very severe case of depression, made it so that she had a very easy way to actually connect with Maud and allow for them to actually be a believable couple. After all, what better pony for a dis a mentally damaged and also very stressed pony than another one who is rather subtle with her expressions and emotions. Though I must say, a lot of the build-up for the um, <clears throat> romantic scenes are very well written, essentially making it to the point where this fic was just maybe a smidge away from being clop. But, fortunately, it stayed away from that smidge. It also showcased the attributes that are common found, commonly found as trouble for couples and other romantic partners, such as family disagreement, adultery, as, and the issues of trust, as well as the strain of, of how psychological issues can affect a relationship. It also showcased various forms of uh, <clears throat> healthy and, I'll admit, somewhat unhealthy perverted thoughts, and the importance of being open to your spouse. It also showcased a bit of a rising from the ashes concept, in which Trixie would get constantly beaten down, but still rise back up and fight and continue the fight. And even wanting to go so far as to putting herself in harm's way in order to prove her usefulness. However, I will admit that in this, even though this fic possesses a lot of strong attributes, it also has a lot of weaknesses to it. One common weakness was the fact that it suffers from the small occasional of off we, uh, error, which is when fanfic writers will often forget to add an extra F to the word of to make it the word off. So a sentence will be something like, she tried to knock something of herself, instead of, she tried to knock something off, her, off herself. Of course, I know that was bad grammar, but, well, that was just a cheap example. Anyway, a more pressing problem that this fanfic has is the mid-sentence problem. Mid-sentence is what I call it when someone writes in a fanfic or any kind of literary work, and as they're writing the sentence, they automatically decide to add an even better sounding sentence, and then continue on with the work. The problem being that they end up forgetting to go back and remove these unnecessary parts, or add necessary parts to make the two sentences link. There are also situations where the fanfic has sentences where they are missing a word to make it make sense, or it just plain does not make sense altogether, but that one is very, very rare. All in all, this makes it so that the reader ends up having to decode the sentences to make the story make sense. It also suffers from multi-name syndrome in some of the earlier chapters. This is why this is what I call it when 
the when the writer adds na- add, ah, keeps repeating the character's name unnecess- multiple times within a paragraph when they don't really need to instead of using say the word Trixie 30 different times in her in their sentence in their paragraph they could instead use descriptions such as the sapphire blue unicorn or the illusionist unicorn or the mentally damaged pony or something to that effect in regards to scenes or settings where mod is men- or Trixie is mentioned and in regards to mod referred to as the stoic pony or the the archaeologist or something to that effect All in all, though, the other main problem I would say that this fanfic suffers from is over-chaptered, over-chaptering. Simply, this thing has 129 chapters to it. Granted, the last one could be considered a epilogue, but still. This is more like two or three individual fanfic, large fanfics smashed together. And to be honest, this could easily intimidate a lot of readers and discourage them from reading it unless they are severely or desperately waiting for some of their some other fanfics to actually be have more chapters added to them. It pretty much took me 2 weeks to go through this fic. And though it was a really well-written story, and I loved every minute of it, it was still a bit of an ordeal. So, overall, I'd say that the fanfic Heart of Stone is very well-written to a degree, has a great storyline, and an unbelievable, unbelievably well, well-done method in which they, um, they shipped a character that I consider to be impossible to ship, but has a fair share of grammar issues and sentence structure issues. As a result, I would give this fanfic a 9 out of 10. If they were to... If Crimson DM were to change the... make the changes that I suggested, then this fic could easily make top 10 material. And considering the fact that this is my first review of, of a fanfic, and I decided to go strong, that's really saying something. So, with that, this episode has come to an end. Like, comment, subscribe, and if you're feeling generous, stop by my Patreon account and bring up some suggestions to my uh, Patreon. After all, every little bit helps, and every little bit can help me provide better content. I really want to provide better material for you all. Well, so long, every pony, and have pleasant dreams. <laughs>